Next to oxygen, water is the number one nutrient needed by the human body. Registered dietitian Dr. Connie Snyder helps us understand the importance of fluids. What do you give your child when they're thirsty? What do you drink when you're thirsty? Let's talk about the reasons your child's primary beverage should be water. More than half of our body weight is water. Water has key functions such as to provide form to cells in the body, maintain electrolyte balance in the blood such as sodium, potassium, and calcium, carry nutrients, maintain body temperature, and it acts as the body's lubricant. Our body constantly loses water when we breathe, sweat, and urinate. A major concern for parents, especially during the hot San Joaquin Valley summers, is dehydration. If you are concerned that your child is dehydrated or has had an excessive loss of fluid due to vomiting or diarrhea, be on the alert for sunken eyes, no tears when crying, decreased frequency of urination and dark concentrated urine, or with an infant, dry diapers, dry or sticky mucous membranes of the mouth, irritability, and behaviors that can range from less active to lethargic. Untreated, severe dehydration may result in seizures, permanent brain damage, or even death. Of course, you should contact your health care provider to assist you with diagnosing and treating dehydration. So, to prevent dehydration, it is important to maintain water balance by drinking fluids every day. The amount of fluid needed will vary depending on age, gender, physical activity, your child's health, and the temperature outside. Usually, healthy kids who are not involved in rigorous physical activity get enough fluid by drinking water when they are thirsty and eating a healthy diet with fruits and vegetables which are full of nutrients and water. The Institute of Medicine guidelines for adequate fluid intake for children ages 1 to 3 is about 4 cups and children four to eight is about five cups. Here is the breakdown for your child's healthy fluids. Two cups should be milk. Remember, children aged two and older should drink reduced fat or fat-free milk. Yogurt counts as a fluid. Plain yogurt with fruit is healthier than sweetened yogurt. Limit juice to four ounces a day. Many juices are packed with sugar, so dilute the juice with water. This will stretch the flavor of the juice while reducing the sugar intake. The remainder of healthy fluids should be water. Offer small amounts of fluid throughout the day. For children who are picky beverage drinkers, try colorful cups. If your child plays actively outside when it is hot, keep the fluids flowing. Children do not sweat as much as adults and often do not know they're thirsty. As a guideline, offer cool water prior to outdoor play and encourage one half cup of fluid every 15 to 30 minutes. Be mindful of the fluids you provide. Avoid sweetened beverages such as soda, punch, and sport drinks. They add calories but little nutrition. So these sweetened beverages should be served as treats and not as your child's daily fluid requirements. Caffeinated products increase urination. Remember, the body needs to maintain water balance. Children do not need caffeine. The key is to help ensure your child has adequate fluids by drinking healthy beverages and eating a balanced diet. Keep in mind, children will take cues of what is fun to eat and drink from you. If you want your child to develop healthy habits, you must be the role model. Thanks, Connie. And for more information about why sodas are unhealthy for your kids, just go to kvpt.org and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids. And First Five Madera County. Strengthening communities through the Family Resource Centers, where it's all about the kids.